On this week's boiler tip, we're gonna look at the tubes in a boiler when we've got it open for inspection. Um, you may notice when your boiler's open for inspection, your uh, inspector peering down each individual tube with a flashlight. Now, if you know, you know, that's where you leave the $100 bills so that you pass the inspection easily, right? No, that's not what he's looking for. What he's looking for is the inside of that tube to be symmetrical from one end to the other. In other words, that the tube's still straight. Um, why would that tube bend? Two potential reasons, overheating and thermal shock. Because if the boiler's expanded and contracted sufficiently, the ends get loose and that can start to bow. If the boiler's been overheated, there's been a low water condition, those tubes will actually soften and droop. So when he looks through, he won't see a full circle on the other end, he'll see it obstructed by a bend of the top of the tube. So looking in there is a good way to ensure that we don't have issues with temperature on the tubes. Now the second aspect of looking through those tubes is for leaks. Now we could have a leak at the perimeter of a tube between the tube and the tube sheet due to thermal shock um, or cracking of welds, but we also could have pinholes inside the tubes. So if we have thermal issues, we're gonna have damage on the ends of the tubes and we'll have a leak there. But if we've got oxygen pitting in the boiler, eventually a pinhole will start releasing water into the inside of the tube. And that may be obvious and we'll have minerals running down, but also looking in there, make sure we don't have any formations occurring, little barnacles or stalactites, because we may catch a leak at the very beginning. In any case, if we've got a leaking tube, we need to get it repaired. Um, if it's thermal shock, we may have some tubes that are individually a problem in the top few passes. If we've got oxygen pitting, there's a good chance that that's throughout the boiler. So we may have to do a closer look and look at a retube.